What's up, everyone? Phil, the Kaiju King, back from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati. This video, taking a look at this figure. It's the Star Ace X Plus Ray Harryhausen Collection Guanji from uh, Valley of the Guanji, 1969 film. This is the box. All these Harryhausen figures have great artistic boxes, I think. They look great. The figures are great, too. You can see I got a little bit of a different setup here. I turned this table a long ways. I'm probably going to end up getting a different table, possibly, but I have this rack right here to my right. You can't probably see. That's a bunch of my Gigantics. I had to buy a, a rack for Gigantics because I was running out of space for Gigantics on the top shelf, so this whole rack is all Gigantics, and I... Uh, well, I turn the table the other way. It doesn't leave a lot of room for walking around. So this box is pretty cool, though. I like how it says right here. Cowboys battle monsters in the lost world of the Forbidden Valley. It's pretty cool. Has a nice picture of Ray Harryhausen here on the end working on one of his uh, figures for a movie. Pretty cool, nice box, nicely done by Star Ace and X Plus. All right, we'll move on to the star of the show, the 30 centimeter Guanji. Let's do that now. All right, everyone, here it is. The X Plus Star Ace 30 centimeter scale Guanji from the awesome movie Valley of the Guanji. My favorite Harry Harryhausen movie is this movie. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comments. If you care to comment on my videos, but this is my favorite. I mean, cowboys, dinosaurs. When you're a kid, you're like, this movie was put out two years before I was born. So I, when I seen it, I was. I remember seeing it when I was pretty young, probably early to, early to mid seventies, and it's always been my favorite Harryhausen movie. It's really, really, really a cool movie. Of course, the the uh, gypsies. captured this little horse or they were trying to protect it this the other mexican went to the i think the forbidden valleys in mexico because i think a lot of it takes place in mexico the film they crashed captured this little prehistoric horse and then the circus ends up with it and in the city and the family are trying to use it to uh boost you know attendance in their in their show but then the uh gypsies find of it because they, they are always warning people about the forbidden valley and never go there and all this so they end up stealing the little horse back try to get it back to the forbidden valley but the uh entrepreneurs for the circus and all that they find out and they follow them they see the horse go through this crack in the in a big rock wall and there's enough room for them to fit back, but not their horses. But one of the guys goes in there and sees there's a whole valley in there, the Forbidden Valley. And they take their horses and pull these loose rocks down. And then they're able to get their horses into the valley. And that's when they start experiencing all the prehistoric life, pterodactyl, a little tiny dinosaur that they try to capture. And that's when this guy shows up, Guanji. That's what the gypsies call they always they're saying Guanji, Guanji. Well, this is Guanji. This is what is known as Guanji. It's basically an allosaurus, in my opinion. It's a pretty awesome dinosaur. Great uh, monster fights in the film with the cowboys and this and this guy. Um, they eventually capture Guanji, of course. In the meantime, Guanji had fought a, I think it's a Starachiosaurus. It's like a Triceratops, but in case of the Instead of the big shield on its head, it's got the spikes. I thought the guy in the movie called it a, a Starachiosaurus. I'm not sure, though. I wish they'd make that figure to go with this. But I would want it a bloody, battle-damaged dead one. <laughs> That's me. I'm sick in the head. That's all collapsed down like in the movie when Guanji was he starting to eat it. He killed it and it had blood and cuts and gore all over it. That's what I would want. But I'm... That's just me. Maybe I'll have to ask Mark Sang Yang to make me one to go with this. A uh, 30 centimeter Starachiosaurus, all bloodied and beat down and 
all that nice stuff. But uh, it's a pretty awesome movie. They end up catching Guanji after that. He tries to come through that split in the mountain, and he collapses on him and knocks him out. They take him back to the, try to be the main attraction of their show, and you know how this usually turns out. Like in King Kong, Guanji escapes, kills an elephant, kills multiple people. And then they trap him in a giant church and end up setting it on fire, and that is the fiery death of Guanji in the film. He gets fried by the large fire that consumes the church and his screams at the end and are haunting to me like it's very very loud horrifying screams Guanji's letting out before his his death it's a great movie like i said my favorite ray harry Housen film always has been i love this film cowboys and dinosaurs how can you go wrong really it's pretty cool as far as this figure goes really nicely captured i think by star ace and x plus did a fine job ray harry Housen will be proud i would think big fat broad tail goes down touches pretty much goes straight back with a slight up curl to the right nice curled tail though looks nice i think it looks really nice just sculpting all over the body predominantly the charcoal is gray like godzilla or, or it's, all, it's got a blue tinge to it as well, though. But that's uh, really uh, pretty cool. There's nice sculpting of the uh, scaly sections of the tail here. Looks good. The skin has a bumpy texture on it. Scaly, bumpy texture on it. It looks really good there. The scale, little tiny bumpy scales on the back. Right up all through the tail. Up, up, up right to the base of the neck. Those are nicely captured. The underneath the Guanji here, nice scaled version, scaled midsection and tail section. Uh, goes right up into his neck, all those scales. Um, that's pretty good capture. He has all this stuff in the movie, so it looks good. The feet and the hands are uh, nicely captured. Three toes on the feet with the heel claw here on the back of the heel. And his hands have three fingers with claws. Predominantly, the paint scheme is like the bluish charcoal gray. He has a tinge of blue, like in my pictures, I think. And that's what he looked like in the movie. He had like a blue tinge to him. So, But uh, he looks really good. Like I said, the sculpting of the uh, skin texture is done really well. You can see his ribs here in his uh, rib cage area, and you could see that in the film. I thought they captured that really well on this figure. The eyes are white. With a yellow and black pupil. Looks good. Nice broad mouth. Really nicely done. Back of the head here as well. Nice sculpting of the bumpy texture of the skin. The eyes are, like I said, the eyes are nicely captured. His teeth individually sculpted in the mouth. Look really, really good. The nice uh, pinkish and reddish inside of the mouth with the inner mouth and the tongue. Looks all good. He's really captured really well. The sculpt, I think, of uh, the ruler of the Forbidden Valley. He should have stayed there and he never would have <laughs> met his demise like Kong. Just stay on the island. Don't bust down the wall, Kong. Guanji, don't go through the crack in the Forbidden Valley wall. But you did and you see what happened to you. Pretty awesome figure, though. Pretty nicely done. I'll do some comparisons here, and let's do that now. All right, here is my 30-centimeter Guanji. Die, by the way, this is a standard edition. The Deluxe had a injured pterodactyl, like the one he was eating in the movie, I believe. My, my Guanji with my Retosaurus. Both of these Harryhausen films, pretty awesome films. All right, I'll do a couple more comparisons. Let's do that now. All right, here's my Guanji 30 centimeter alongside my 30 centimeter Godzilla 1955. Right. 
Gandhi's uh, more hunched over, of course, but if he was more of an upright Dinah's picture in this, which he, you know, he would travel in this pose, I think. So in my opinion, this pose is mid-travel. He's getting ready to travel. But in the movie, if he was more upright, he'd be right up there as far as scaling with the 30-centimeter uh, regular figures. All right, I'll do one more comparison. Let's bring on the big boy. Let's do that now. All right, here's my 30-centimeter Guanji. With this guy, Guanji Minya. And my gigantic Guanji that Mark Sang Yang made me uh, last year, I believe. I think Mark did a pretty fair job on this guy. It looks pretty cool. All right, I move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, Star Ace X Plus 30 centimeter scale Guanji from the awesome dinosaur cowboy movie Valley of the Guanji from 1969. My favorite film from Ray Harryhausen. He made a lot of good ones, but this one is my top shelf. I own it on digital form, I own it on hard media form. Um, it's a great movie. This is my first Guanji figure. This is the ultimate Guanji figure here. I love my gigantic as well. Mark did a great job. I love Guanji. That's why I went for that gigantic with Mark. I'm glad I did. This here is a cool figure of a great, great movie. If you haven't seen it, give it a chance. It's uh, definitely worth watching. All right, everyone, I'll close out my video. I'm going to follow up with some more videos after this one. This is Phil, the Kaiju King from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.